what's driving the fundamental strength and, and why are you seeing a surge in demand where other retailers are not as the economy reopens? Well, thanks, Sarah. Appreciate the shout out. Uh, you know, it's a couple things. Uh, you know, we've always been a value retailer since we began in 2002. We learned a lot from 08. And, you know, since uh, the shutdown, we've really moved quite quickly to reopen our stores. Um, in fact, in record time, we got them reopened. And I think this time we're in right now, you know, parents and families are all living in a different situation than they were, obviously. And, you know, they're looking for a place to uh, save money, have a great experience and, and be in a safe environment. And I think we're doing all three for them. And we've seen uh, great success since we've reopened in every market. What's unique about your business and your consumer is they are much younger than the average consumer, right? Teens, preteens. What do we have to know about their shopping habits right now, how they've changed it all post pandemic and, and what they're looking for? Yeah, I mean, we've always catered to teens and, and preteens. And uh, obviously, a couple things have changed. One, uh, safety is, is probably the number one thing on their mind. We get asked a lot about it in our stores. Our associates do a great job keeping our stores clean and safe, um, spreading out customers. Um, we're seeing a very different uh, shopping pattern, um, less transactions, but a higher basket uh, as customers are coming in less frequently, but buying more every time they come in. Uh, we're seeing a different uh, categories. Uh, some are doing much better than before, and some are, um, you know, fallen off since uh, pre-pandemic. So um, with that, we've adjusted our mix, and, um, you know, customers have responded well with what we've got in stores. Uh, Joel, you mentioned that you reopened your stores uh, at a record pace. Uh, you've also been opening new stores altogether. Is, is that right? I mean, how is the, the current environment the right moment for that? Yeah, uh, well, you know what? Uh, fortunately, we have a really good muscle on how to open stores quickly. We never thought we'd have to use that muscle to reopen our existing store. So, you know, basically, at the start of the quarter, we were at zero. Uh, we reopened all 900, and then we saw the opportunity to, you know, get back to playing offense. And uh, a lot of um, stores that we had in flight, we started to get them open again. And that resulted in 64, uh, 63 new stores, uh, which was a record for us in Q2. I went to your website today. Back to school is, is all over the front page. And then there's also a Halloween section. How critical are those events to your business? And, and what's your expectation this year with, I mean, LA just the latest to call off trick-or-treating? Yeah. Look, uh, our merchants did a great job with back to school. We, we really uh, shifted it more to being about room. Um, you know, e even though kids are going back to school, they're going back in a different environment. Uh, depending on the state, the municipality, they're going back in their homes. And, you know, they want to create an environment to, that makes school comfortable, being at home, Zooming. Uh, and uh, the merchants did a great job pivoting, and we're seeing uh, a, a great back to school season, albeit it's very different than the traditional season, all about backpacks and pencils. And uh, now we've pivoted to Halloween. I, I think Halloween's the same thing. It's gonna be less about trick or treating and more about decor and still creating a fun experience at home. And at Five Below, you can do that uh, without having to break the bank, so to speak. Are, are COVID related products like hand sanitizer and, and, and various wipes, are they still uh, flying off the shelves or has the demand uh, fallen back a little bit? There we you go. Make me wear my favorite mask. Um, we, we're selling a lot of masks, hand sanitizer. We like to have fun at Five Below and <laughs> spread cheer. So, uh, you know, shirts and, and T-shirts have been uh, also doing really well. Uh, but that's just one example of, you know, Five Below is about being a little snarky, catering to kids, and having a great time when you come to visit our store. Joel, thanks so, so much for joining us. Everything is very... Oh, I just wanted to ask one quick question on the supply yes, chain, Joel, about, about yeah. how everything is cheap and below $5. Where, where is it made? And were there any hiccups in that supply as we saw shutdowns around the world during COVID? Yeah, thank you for that question. We've got a great um, vendor community. Um, I, I, I won't tell you it was easy. It was actually one of the hardest things we had to do to restart that supply chain from scratch. Our, our products made all over the world. Uh, certainly a large part comes from China. 
Um, but we also pr produce a lot uh, here in the U.S. All our T-shirts, as an example, are, are printed here. Um, we source from Honduras, from Vietnam, from India, and, and many other countries. So um, they, the teams dug in, and we really had to get it started from scratch, but it, it's flowing nicely now. Joel, I'll try it again. Thanks so much for joining us. Much appreciated. Yeah.